<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is a very exciting day for me. Obviously, the title of the video gives it away, but currently I'm in the parking lot at a pet store. I'm gonna buy some pet rats, and I'm very excited. Rats are social creatures, so you can't have just one of them. You have to get multiple, or else, like, at least two, or else they'll get lonely and depressed, and I think it could even kill them, and I don't want that for my pets. I wanna make sure I'm giving them the best life. So I'm gonna go in here, and I have to, I don't have any equipment, at home so I need to get like a cage and toys and the whole setup and it's gonna be a fun project I'm really excited for it I think this one would be a good one I can grab some toys for it too so for rats you need dust free bedding because they have very sensitive respiratory systems so if you use wood chips they could get sick. Alright so my rats are in here and I'm ready to take them home. I got two of them so that way they always have a friend to play with. I ended up getting the you and me Mary Manor rat home. I think that this will be good for them. The wires aren't too far apart that way they can't slip through. The rats are babies and they are very small and I want to make sure they're safe and then I have in the back um, a bag of toys and a water bottle and other things that they will need in their cage. litter box because rats can be potty trained but it won't fit in this door so I'm gonna have to take it all down and put it in but I'll do that at a later date so for now I'm using this little dish I have and I'm just putting it in the corner and that'll work for now rats litter needs to be different than the bedding that's placed in the bottom of the cage so I'm using some fast absorbing paper pellets the reason it needs to be different is so that they know that those are what they're supposed to pee on and not the bedding in the bottom of the cage. I have this box I'm just going to place in there. They might be able to have some fun with it. So I went ahead and filled up their water bottle and it is super cute. I don't know if you can tell, it has a little turtle floating in the top up there. Of course, it'll be flipped upside down. The turtle's up there. So now I have a bird perch. And what this does is it helps to file down the rat snails. And I placed the water bottle up kind of high, if you can tell. So what I'm gonna do is actually place this bird perch underneath of it down by the ground. That way they can use it to lever themselves up to get to their water bottle and it'll file down their nails. I heard that rats like to pee on rocks, so I'm just gonna place this rock in the litter box so that way they know that that's where they're supposed to go to the bathroom. I hope it works, but I wouldn't know, so we're gonna find out. And I also have a couple toys. I have some balls and then I bought some chews, chewing sticks, wooden. Could I lock in your love, baby? I we're close and last I have this. It's actually a bird toy, but I think that they'll get some enjoyment out of it. Close I'm gonna put them in. There's probably a lot of poop in here. Oh, not bad. Can you see them? There they are. Poor things, they're probably very spooked. Hello. 
I need to think of names now. Come here. There's one. She's a lighter color, but not completely white. They're both girls, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in. And here's the other one. She's darker. And these are just babies. They are um, six weeks old. Okay, here we go. 